Hello girls, it's Wednesday and today is awesome because this theme was actually none of our ideas. It was an idea my mom had and told me and I presented to the other girls. So, um, 10 points to, to Mama Hyde this week. Oh, Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows is my favorite book ever written. Um, it's my favorite Harry Potter book and therefore it's my favorite book ever. And I just, I adore it so, so much. I have so many ideas in my head of how I want the film to look and all that sort of thing, but I know that they will never come to fruition because, um, you know, it, it never, the films never look like the picture I have in my head, and that's fine because I still love the films. I have my problems with a lot of them, such as the fact that um, Prisoner of Azkaban didn't even mention one of my favorite storylines in the entire series, which is the Marauder storyline. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll never forgive whoever's responsible for that one. But yeah, I, I really like the films. I used to not be really good at separating the two, but I've come to the point where it's just like, eh, whatever, the books are better. But there are so many things that I would really like to see, so that's what I'm gonna tell you right now. Things that I want f them to put, take from the book and put into the films. Also, I'd like to add that I have still not seen a single trailer of this film. I want to be a complete surprise because when I went in to watch Half the Prince, I had watched all the clips they released and everything, and I felt like I'd already seen half the film or more than half, really. I'm just completely spoiler free. I know nothing. Just putting that out there. This video will contain spoilers, by the way. Moment number one is when Ron and Hermione reunite after the Seven Harrys chapter and they, they have the always the tone of surprise moment. That whole moment when they hug and Ron's like, oh, you're all right. And it's, oh, I'm such an obsessive Ron Hermione shipper that it's, it's wonderful and it makes my little fan, fan heart beat. <laughs> The moment when George loses his ear and makes the holy joke, classic, and that's so George, and I, f I feel like he really deserves that moment because the twins are... I don't like how they're treated as an en one entity in the film. I can't remember a single time where any of them have finished their own sentences in the film, which, I mean, it's cute for a while, but it's gotten to the point where, like, they are two different people. They're not just one person. So, yeah, I hope that they each have their own moments to shine, especially because Fred. One of my favorite moments in the entire series is when Ron returns to Harry and Hermione and he says that Dumbledore must have always known he'd walk out on him or else he wouldn't have given him, given him the Deluminator. And then Harry responds, no, he must have known he'd always want to come back. That is, that's like the epitome of their friendship and it's so beautiful and I really hope that exchange is in the film. But I, for some reason, I don't think it will be, but in my head it's really important and it's a really really wonderful moment. A moment I always found really interesting in the book was Hermione's plan when they're at Xenophilius's to show Harry to the Death Eaters before operating away. I hope they do that in the film because it's really one of those moments of Hermione's Gryffindor-ness um, because it's a really clever idea but at the same time it's really really brave like she asked him right before do you trust me and I, I don't know I thought that was a really cool idea and a really cool moment and I hope they put that in the film. That moment, right after they get off the, the dragon, Ron makes a joke about how I think they might have seen them breaking into Hogwarts, and then they all start laughing and they can't stop laughing. Such a good moment. That That's such a Ron, Harry, Hermione moment, and they really need to put that in the film or else I'll be really upset. And when it comes to the end of the book, I'm, I'm really picky about what I want to see in it. I want to see pretty much everything from the last, like, four chapters on in the film, especially the flaw in the plan. The flaw in the plan, as I've said many times before on various different outlets and conversations and things, is my favorite chapter, probably in literary history. It's it's just so epic and so happy and so good feeling. And every time I read that chapter, like I feel this this sense of pride and and happiness and just excitement. And it's so badass and so good. And there are all these wonderful moments and. Oh, I really hope they do fall on the plan right, especially the point where Harry and Voldemort are circling each other. So good, so good. I really hope they put in the, the relationship between Remus and Harry in this book because I think it's really, really interesting. First of all, Remus is the last father figure that Harry has, so I want moments with them together as much as possible before before he dies, and I, I just want that all those moments where he's sending him away and Remus is such an interesting character in this book and I really hope that he gets his time to shine. And this is gonna sound horrible but I'm really excited for the torturing of Hermione scene. I love Hermione but um I remember when I read that that scene in the book with Ron freaking out in the basement. Oh that was so good. 
so good. And of course I'm hoping for some non-awkward Ginny Harry interaction, but you know, a person can dream. I think that's all. That was a really long video, I think. Um, I'll have to see, but yeah, yeah. What do you want to see? Put it in the comments. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. Deathly Hallows comes out tomorrow. I'm so excited. Or well, technically Friday, but tomorrow at midnight. So excited. And Haley, I'll see you tomorrow. Of course, I forgot to mention one of the most important things I was supposed to talk about this week, which is the t-shirt. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt with five awesome girls and Hogwarts and our heads, then you should consider clicking the link down here to buy it. I'm excited for it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's, I think it's awesome, actually, so check that out.